So what's uh, what's going on, Kevin? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's just been really hard for me. What what's been really hard for you? Well, just like, you know, my transition to college and stuff. It's my first year. I'm you know I'm a freshman. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's just been really difficult uh, trying to figure out how things go and, um, you know, just how to find my way on sure. campus and stuff. So it's been kind of a tough transition for you so far? Yeah, I mean, it's been the transition part, I think, is hard. I mean, I'm just used to being at home uh, with my mom, uh, my dad, and, um, you know, my friends. Like, I don't, I don't have any friends here, right. you know, um, and my roommate, it's just, I don't know. I thought your roommate was supposed to be your friend, and I just feel like he's not. So you're feeling kind of lonely, maybe? Yeah, I would say I'm feeling lonely, um, you know, but my roommate just, that's what I thought a roommate was for, you know, like, to help you with that loneliness. So your roommate's kind of distant, then? Yeah, I would say so. I feel like, I mean, we have different, like, I'm a business major, and he's a chemistry major, so, like... We have different schedules and things like that, but um, it's just kind of hard when I'm trying to like associate with him and talk to him because like he has such a different schedule than I do. Okay. So like I'll come you know back and he'll be leaving or even on the weekends like I feel like he doesn't invite me to any of the parties he goes to and all that kind of stuff like that and you know I I don't know. So so you feel like you don't know him at all then or. How's it going in general? Just you don't you don't feel that you know enough about him, or that you guys just aren't communicating well. I would say yeah. I feel like we're not communicating well, and I mean I feel like when there are times for communication, it's just like he just says what's wrong or what he doesn't like about me, and I I feel like at times it's it's my fault in the way like there's something wrong that I'm doing, and that's why I'm like I guess I'm not getting this transition to college. Well, it, it sounds to me that you guys are going through perfectly normal stuff. You're both, you know, first year students. You're, um, you're both kind of coming into a new experience, and it sounds like you're both maybe a little lost, and um, maybe you're getting a little left out of the relationship that you want. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I want that too, but I feel like there's certain aspects of myself that he doesn't like or that he says is a problem. Okay, so what type of things has... Do you guys have issues with that, or is it just kind of, you're not the same type of person? Well, for me personally, I don't think it's an issue, but he does, I guess, and I don't know if it's just, if it's me or if it's him. When I talk to some of my other friends, like back home, um, it doesn't seem an issue, but like a couple days ago, he just told me, he says, you know, Kevin, you know, you smell really bad, and I was like, I don't think I smell bad, like, I take a shower, like, every other day. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, that's what I did at home. Yeah. Um, well, so it's tough. I mean, it's a change too, because I mean, normally you probably had your own room at home, or you know, you're living with your family, so they might, they may not, you know, really notice it or be used to it. But when you're coming into a new experience, you know, maybe maybe your roommate's been around people who shower every day, so it's a new experience. You kind of have to think about. Um, do you feel that he's doing some things you don't like too, or is it just? Kind of he has problems with you only. I feel like as he has problems with me only, like, and I, I want to get to know him better. I guess that's where I say that I want to mm -hmm. get to know who he is as a person. But, like, for me, it's just like, I mean, every day, it's like, it never stops. It's like, hey, you know, when did you take a shower today? Or, hey, did you do this? Or, mm -hmm. hey, did you do that? Uh, you know, as far as, like, my hygiene kind of thing. And, mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I just, I just stay in my room. There's nothing to do. And, I mean, I just... I just stay in my room. Well, I think there's plenty of stuff that we could find you to do if that's a problem, but um, you sound a little aggravated with your roommate almost, kind of kind of like there's a little anger um, there maybe. Do you Have you talked to him about it? I mean, I've talked to him about it. Apparently, he went to our RA and said something about mm -hmm. it, but like, um, I don't know. It seems like when I do make conversation with him, it's just like, it doesn't even matter. Or he's just like, you know, you're the one who has the problem. And for me, you know, as a student, um, you know, I don't really need that. And I really just need a friend to understand me and to work with me. You know, it's just been, it's just been so hard lately. Um, you know, and I just can't, I just don't feel like something else on me. You know, I, my girlfriend and I, you know, like, 
we just broke up and everything, and she calls me a week ago and says that there's a possibility that she could be pregnant. Oh, wow. So, for me, it's just like, you know, yeah, I understand that I might not be showering every day or whatever like that, but there's bigger things that are going on, and I don't have time to be trying to, you know, figure that out. And for me, it's just making me feel more and more depressed, and this transition thing is just, it's just not happening for me. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a lot going on between, you know, your girlfriend, the, the whole breakup, and the complicated relationship there, and you're trying to build new friends here, too. Um, so, maybe it sounds like you kind of want something from your roommate, you know, more communication, more of a friend there, and that he wants some stuff, too. There's maybe some problems that he thinks are going on. Um, maybe we can work something out and get a compromise going here and get you a better relationship with your roommate. Does that sound good? Yeah, I mean, it sounds good. It's just that for me, I don't know how exactly. I mean, I feel like I've exhausted all of the avenues. Like, I feel like I've talked to him. Um, you know, I don't I don't know if I've been completely honest with him, though, about what's going on with me. I mean, I don't really know if I want to share that kind of information about myself. Sure. You know, I know that that's something personal that happened to me. And for me growing up, that's just what we did. You kept your business in-house, you know, and I don't really want to share that with him. But at the same time, you know maybe that would be something to talk to him about and we could, I mean, I don't know, maybe that would be the beginning of a, to f for be friends, I don't know. Sure, I mean, I think that's a good point too and you don't have to share intimate details if you're not comfortable with that with him. But I think that'd be a good start to say, tell him, you know, hey, I really have a lot going on in my life right now. Um, this is one of the things that I know you don't like about me. I'm not showering enough or, you know, I'm not wearing deodorant every day or whatever it is. Um, but, but that's one of the things that you can really stress to him. I've got a lot going on, and um, sometimes, you know, I just forget. And, you know, if you, maybe if you can tell him to remind you every so often, maybe that'll make you more conscious of it as well. Because you said you don't always um, see it as an issue. Yeah, I don't. And I guess if I just, I don't know, I guess by talking to him more and sharing different information and not just saying that, you know, hey, um, you know, that's just how I am. Right. Um, I don't know. It's just that I just don't know about, you know, letting him know about those details. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I do, it might be detrimental to me um, as a person. Sure. I mean, and maybe maybe that's something that we can do together, too. If you don't feel comfortable talking to him alone at first, maybe you can bring him in. We'll all talk together. And uh, maybe that way you can start building a relationship with your roommate. That way you guys can be a little bit closer. And that way, maybe once you guys go back, just living with each other, you'll be a little more comfortable and you can talk normally. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think that uh, by talking to him, um, you know, that me talking to him probably will mm -hmm. open up those doors of communication and perhaps asking him about different events um, and making myself more available, um, you know, on the weekends because I feel like my girlfriend calls me every single day to tell me something different. Or my ex-girlfriend, I should say, I don't know what's going on. That's another thing. I'm just confused about that, too. Sure. And I don't know if she really is pregnant or not or what's going on with that. But Yeah, and I mean, these things, I mean, you're going to find out in time as well as you build those relationships. And hopefully, you know, everything goes well with your girlfriend issues and your troubles there. Hopefully that all gets settled out. Once that does, you can get more into a normal habit of, you know, first year at college and you figure out what you really want to do here. Because um, it's a time of a lot of changes, and it's hard to go through. Okay. So then, I guess I could just talk to my roommate then and let him know about this kind of stuff. Um, and, That's I mean, right. maybe he could help me out with some of my issues that I have mm -hmm. with my girlfriend right now. Yeah, and even just normal things, like you said, you weren't getting to go to a lot of the parties that he wanted to go to and stuff. If you build that friendship a little bit, maybe you feel he'll feel more inclined to invite you on the weekends to go, you know, to the frat houses with him or to go out clubbing or whatever you guys want to do. Okay. So I think that'd be a good start at least. And then hopefully if, if it keeps going on, you can come back and we can talk about it all three together. And hopefully we can figure something out to make you feel more comfortable here. Okay. All right? Well, thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. No problem. Hopefully it all works out for you, Kevin. Thank you.